NRI. NRI quota exists. 15 percentage of seats under the uh, private institutes come under NRI. The candidate should be NRI or legal guardian should be NRI. So either the candidate should be NRI or legal guardian should be NRI or sponsored by this set of people. So any one of these three, if you fall under, you will be eligible for NRI. Earlier, we had conducted a session for UG saying there are issues with the MEA's notification on NRI. NRI's notification by MEA, Ministry of External Affairs, earlier said that if you are going to be sponsored, other than candidate or parent being NRI, if you are going to be sponsored as a ward, the ward should be a minor. Whoever is sponsoring the ward, the ward should be a minor. The candidate going to do PG. No PG is a minor. Therefore, nobody got an NRI certificate earlier. Right now, a week or 10 days back, MEA has put up a revised notification before round 2 of UG asking all high commissions or consulates or embassies to provide an NRI certificate for any sponsor. No ward uh, definition and no minor uh, major category. So, if your sponsor falls under this criteria, you will be able to get an NRI certificate and apply for Tamil Nadu. For each state, whatever criteria they are saying, get the NRI certificate and you can apply. So, that is the criteria. Legal guardian here in Tamil Nadu means not anyone. Through a gazetted order or a court order, you should have been defined as a legal guardian. Usually happens when the mother and father are not alive. There will be a legal guardian appointed. Then you should get the court order and then that person is, if that person is NRI, then you can apply. Or only this set of people. They can sponsor you. Who? Real brother or sister, father or mother or real brother or sister uh, uh, or real brother or sister of mother, real paternal grandfather or grandmother, maternal grandfather or grandmother, first degree paternal or maternal cousins can be NRI. So this is the second degree maternal cousins are not NRI. That is the clear rule. And uh, documents to be uploaded, you need an embassy certificate. This is required. So, you need to get an embassy certificate. You need to get a relationship certificate from the comp competent authority. This is from the Tasildas office. This can be with the fam family tree, without a family tree. We have received some, con uh, 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 some candidate say, uh, information from some candidates saying that the family tree is, uh, uh, Tasildas are not uh, able to uh, gi uh, give it. They are just giving it in return format saying this is the relationship. We know that earlier too. We asked you to get the family tree because it is always better to have it. But if they are not giving it, then keep it as it as it is. You can send it to uh, send it for Tamil Nadu. It just it should clearly mention the relationship between the sponsor and the ward and you. Passport of the NRI financial supporter or OCA card. NRE bank account passbook. In case there is no NRE bank account passbook, you can get it done in one or two days. If you are not able to get it done, a foreign passbook is also fine. You can send it across. Declaration, which is a ward certificate. There is a ward certificate that is given in the annexure. You can take it and print it and give it. Uh, print it, assign it and give it. No stamp paper, no notary. Just a simple affidavit signing. Court order if you are a legal guardian. 